Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to another edition of New Makeup Sunday. So as you're watching this, I am in Florida. Hopefully I'm in Florida. I'm so nervous about the flight tomorrow, you guys. I am the worst flyer. My husband flies all the time and he's like a pro at it. I just, I don't know, I get so upset <laughs> thinking about getting on an airplane. So I'm just dreading tomorrow morning. I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. This is actually my son's first time flying and I'm going to be sitting with him. So hopefully that'll just keep me occupied. But the last time we went to Disney World, I was seven months pregnant and we actually drove the whole way because I was terrified that the stress of the flight was gonna like send me into premature labor or something. So I insisted that we drive the entire way down from Connecticut, which was really, really long. Um, so <laughs> that's how much I hate flying, but I do love to travel. So I just kind of have to push myself through it. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that there's not gonna be a Sunday haul next week, just because this week we are gonna be away and I'm not gonna be able to film unboxings. But the following Sunday, there will be probably a really big haul because then it's gonna be two weeks worth of products that have, you know, things that came while we were on the trip and then things that came the following week so you'll be getting a really big haul that week to make up for it and also I didn't pre-film any videos for next week I just really didn't have any time to do that so um, if you don't follow me on Instagram definitely head over there because I'm sure I'll be posting insta stories from our vacation and you can see all the things that we're up to and stuff like that if that's your thing if not you know I know some people don't like watching vlogs and family stuff and that's totally cool and in that case I will just see you guys when we get back and I get back to my regular filming schedule so this week's haul features a few indie brands that I've never tried before so I was really excited to test out some new products and also a clothing haul which I don't normally do on my channel but I picked up a few things at the mall and I figured I would show them so um, there's that and there's also a makeup revolution haul with a lot of their new palettes so really really exciting I did preview that a little bit on my Instagram so you're not gonna want to miss it because these palettes look beautiful so anyway let's go ahead and jump in and I will check in with you guys at the end Good morning guys, it's Monday and I just got my Ulta order in the mail. I had grabbed the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus during the 21 Days of Beauty. It was 50% off and believe it or not, I have never tried this before. It's such a classic. So many people always talk about it. So I'm really excited to test it out and see if it lives up to the hype. So I grabbed the coconut version and I really like the packaging on this. It just has the nozzle where you kind of twist it like that. And then um, I think the spritz on it is so super fine. I think it's gonna be really good. And you can use this to set your face after you apply makeup. You can also use it to prime ahead of time. And a lot of people use this to spray their brush to wet eyeshadows for a more vibrant look. So I'm just really excited to test this out and see what it's like. I think it smells really, really good so far. Um, so I will keep you guys updated on this. Next up, I got a PR package from a brand called Shayna B and they sent over some of their brand new products and I love what they did here. They sent over some pictures of me. I think these are actually from my Instagram page. So um, it says, Dear Jennifer, whether it's starting your Mondays with some cafecito or your Sundays with a Bellini on South Beach, we're so excited to add some Miami to your beauty stash. All shades for our palettes were inspired by Miami, our city, and we can't wait to see how it inspires you. So um, this says, Shayna, meaning beautiful, gives way to our message that you can be beautiful in any language. Shayna B is the multicultural embodiment of beauty. All people, all statuses, and all beautiful with Shayna B Miami. So um, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm really excited. I love indie brands and I love trying new brands in general. So first they sent over this brush and this is the airbrush effect. It says it's a versatile duo fiber brush for powder and liquid products, leaves a diffused and airbrushed look to the skin. So here's a look at the brush up close. It feels really, really soft. So I'm excited about that one. And then they also have a Miami eyeshadow palette. It feels really, really heavy and substantial. So it feels very high end. Let me just move the box out of the way. All right, so here's all the shades. I was thinking for a Miami palette, it was gonna be like super crazy bright colors, but I'm actually glad it's not. It does have a few pops of color in here, but also a lot of neutrals. So I'm feeling like this is gonna be a really wearable palette for me for sure. And this is $29, by the way. And then let's take a look at the other palette. So this is the Miami Blush and Highlight Palette. This one is also $29. And the packaging, like it feels really, really nice. I'm impressed with the packaging so far. Um, so in here we have three highlighters and then three blushes. I'm loving these colors right here. These are so beautiful because it has like the perfect nude and then the perfect pink blush and then this really pretty shimmery one that's a little bit warmer. So let's go ahead and do some swatches. I'm really excited to test these out. So first let's swatch the eyeshadow palette. I'll do some shimmers first. Okay, here we go. Really smooth, nicely pigmented so far. 
The shadows have a really creamy sort of buttery feel to them as well. And not a ton of fallout either. They're not crumbly. They're holding together really beautifully, which is so nice. Just this purple down here. And then the last one is this blue. All right, and now for the matte shades. These have almost no fallout to them, which is really, really nice. They feel very firmly pressed, but still pretty easy to pick up. And also they just feel really soft and velvety. There's three more. Oh, I'm loving this color. That is so pretty. Definitely a good crease color for sure. And then here's the last shade, which is a matte black. So there's what the entire palette looks like. I can definitely do a video on this one so you guys can see how it applies to the eyes. I do feel like these are more firmly pressed into the pan, so there's not a ton of powdery fallout, which is really good. So if you guys want to see how they actually apply to the eyes, definitely let me know down in the comments. Okay, so now let's dive into the highlight and blush palette. Oh my goodness. These are some shiny highlights. Look at that. These are beautiful. And again, just like with the eyeshadow palette, there's no fallout to these. They just are so smooth and so buttery. All right, and then here's the blushes. Oh my gosh, look at that nude. These feel so soft. They just glide across the skin so easily. All right, guys, so let me know if you would like to see a Shayna B. Miami video. I can definitely put that together when I get back from my trip. I'm really excited to play with these. I think you're getting a lot of product in here, and the price is really not bad at $29 each. So definitely let me know down in the comments below if that's something you would like to see. I also got a package from a brand new indie skincare company called Floor and B, and they sent over three of their new products. It says, I'm so excited to announce the launch of our natural skincare brand, Floor and B. All of our products are made with carefully selected natural ingredients and never include nasties like parabens, sulfates, and artificial fragrances. We believe that a natural skincare routine shouldn't have to be complicated or expensive. Our entire collection is 100% vegan and works both gently and effectively. So they're cruelty-free, no toxins, and 1% goes to charity. So let's see what's inside. First up, we have the Creme de la Creme Moisturizing Face Cream. So let's see, it says, it's what's on the inside that matters. Our rich face cream is full of antioxidants and natural moisturizers that will leave your skin feeling smooth and silky. It has vitamin C, aloe, and vitamin B3 to brighten and smooth. So here's what the packaging looks like. I think this is really pretty. The jar is very, very heavy. It feels really luxurious. So let's see what the cream looks like. Just put a little bit on my hand here. Oh, it feels really nice. It feels really silky and super rich and hydrating. I think this is gonna be amazing for dry skin. It also seems to be completely unscented. I'm not smelling anything here, so if you're sensitive to fragrance, this might be a really good option. I'll go ahead and just close up on all of the ingredients. If you're interested in ingredients and you wanna pause the video here and take a look at what's inside, you could definitely go ahead and do that. All right, and then next up we have Eyes Eyes Baby, I love the names, anti-aging eye cream, and let's see what's in here. This one says, this anti-aging cream is packed with vitamins and natural moisturizers to treat the delicate skin around your eyes. It has squalene, vitamin E, and vitamin B3. So here's the packaging, again, really pretty. It's just like a mini version of the face cream. And then let's just see what the texture is like. I'll put it over here. It feels like sort of a richer version of the face cream. I mean, that one was really rich, but this one just feels even more emollient. It feels like it's gonna be amazing on my under eye area. This one does seem to have a slight scent to it. I don't know if it's lavender. Let me just check the ingredients. Yes, it does have lavender essential oil. I think that's what I'm smelling. It's not super strong though. So again, here's a look at the ingredient list in case you just wanna pause the video and check it out. And then the last product is Nectar of the Sea Rejuvenating Vitamin C Serum. So this one says, our vitamin C serum is rich with antioxidants and designed to brighten and tighten your skin. So it has vitamin C, vitamin E, and jojoba oil. And then here's what the bottle looks like. I really am loving their packaging. I think it's so pretty. All right, let's just take a look and see what the serum feels like. All right, so it has a nice dropper style applicator here. And then, I mean, it feels pretty much like 
a serum would. It's very thin, but it also feels really hydrating for a serum, and that must be the jojoba oil in the formula. It doesn't feel oily or greasy by any means, but it just feels a little bit more hydrating. It has a little bit more slip to it, I would say, than your average serum. It's not just completely sinking right into my skin. Like, it's taking a minute, but as a dry skin person, I really, really love that. It's making my skin feel amazing, actually. It feels really nice. And this one also doesn't seem to have too much of a scent, but it might be like a little citrusy. Let's just take a look at the ingredient list. It does have pink grapefruit in it and clary sage, so I might be smelling those, but again, it's really not strong at all, and they're all the way at the bottom of the list. Again, if you want to take a look at the ingredient list, just pause the video here. All right, guys, so I will keep you updated on this brand. I definitely intend to try everything out for a while and just see how they work on my skin, but I think they're gonna be really good. I mean, right now, I can't stop feeling my arm right here where I put that serum. It feels so nice, and my hand feels really moisturized too. And they're supposed to be really affordable too. Actually, as of the day that I'm filming this, their website isn't up yet, but it's supposed to be up April 4th. So by the time this video is ready to go live, it will be up and I'll be able to just put some prices on the screen for you and also down in the description box. So anyway, guys, if you wanna see a video on this in the future or hear more about them, definitely let me know. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I just got back from the mall and I went to Sephora and Ulta. Just picked up one thing at each store, not really a big deal. I also got some clothes from Aerie and Old Navy, so I figured I'd open everything up and show you what I got. All right, so at Sephora, I picked up the new Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm in the shade, where's the shade name? Uh, Canatonic. So I think they've had a lip balm for a while, or maybe it was like one in a tube, but I think these are new and they have a couple of tinted versions. So I just thought that this shade looked really pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you so you can see what it looks like. All right, so here's what the color looks like in the tube, and then here it is on the back of my hand. I think it just gives a really beautiful rosy pink tint, and it feels like it's going to be really hydrating. So I thought this would be perfect to just throw into my purse and take to Disney with us and just, you know, use it throughout the day to keep my lips hydrated, and I just love the color or two. And then at Ulta, I was completely not expecting to buy this, but I saw it. They had a tester. I put a little bit on the back of my hand. It felt like it was going to be really, really nice. And I was reading the box, and it's supposed to do some pretty amazing things. I've had really good luck with Peter Thomas Roth products in the past. So this is their new Peptide 21 Wrinkle Resist Serum. It has 73% peptides and neuropeptides and two gamma proteins that helps improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, elasticity, radiance, uneven skin tone, and texture. So on the back here, it just shows all of the different peptides. It's kind of crazy how many ingredients are in here. So I don't know if it's going to be really, really amazing or like just overkill on my skin, but I guess we'll have to wait and see how it goes. But look at this list. I mean, the Matrixel 3000, the Snake, you have the Snap 8 peptide, I mean, Argerlene, and then also so many that I've never even heard of. So very, very excited to try this one out. So anyway, I will definitely let you guys know. Here's the um, before and after 14 days. And I mean, it looks pretty incredible. So I'm probably going to take this on the trip with me too and just start using it. I like that it's not a retinol product, especially because I'm going to be out in the sun a lot. So I think I would much prefer to use something like this with peptides than my retinol. So I will keep you guys updated for sure. All right, and then next up, I went to Aerie, and I normally don't show clothing hauls on my channel, but if you guys wanna see more of these, definitely let me know, because I could do that for sure. Um, so the first thing that I got, I saw this right in the beginning of the store when I first walked in, and they're these really cute beach fleeces. They're kind of like a terry cloth sweatshirt. They had a bunch of different colors. They had solids, but I really like this red stripe. And these actually run really large. So I got it in a small, I'm normally a medium in tops, but it was really big. I'll go ahead and show you just a quick video of me trying it on in the store. I just really, really loved how this one fits. It's a little bit more of a boxy fit, but it's long enough for me. It's not super short, so I really like where it hits on me. And I just thought it was a really cute, relaxed silhouette and would look great with shorts. And then I also got this really long sweatshirt. This is kind of meant to wear with leggings, which I'm in so much of the time. So I love these really big, comfortable sweatshirts. And it has kind of a wider raw edge neckline here. And I'll show you a video of me trying it on. This was actually a size medium. And again, it was a little large on me. So I sized down to a small and hopefully that one will be a little bit better. I just felt like especially the sleeves on the medium were kind of too big and it just wasn't really a flattering fit. And then I also got a pair of these silky shorts. These are so super comfortable. They have no buttons. They're just a pull-on style and they're kind of like a paper bag waist 
really just supposed to fit loosely. And I got these in a large actually because my bottom half is a little bit bigger than my top half. I'm just more bottom heavy. So um, the large actually fit really nicely. I don't like shorts to be super tight. So I wanted that really loose fit. And I think that these worked out really well. I think they're super cute. The t-shirt I tried them on with doesn't exactly go, but I did end up purchasing a white tank top. So I'll show you that one. So I just grabbed this one. They had them for 30% off. I like the little buttons. It's super cute. And I figured I would just tuck it right into these shorts, put some flip flops on and I'll be good to go. And these are just so lightweight and comfortable. So I think they're going to be great for my trip. It's supposed to be hot in Florida now and also just great for the summertime in general. So very excited about these. And then last but not least, I got this bathing suit. The bathing suits were 30% off and I am not gonna try this on for you guys, but um, it's really, really cute. And I love the fact that Aries bottoms all have really good coverage in the back. So you won't feel like your bottom's hanging out or be constantly tugging at it. I really think they're super comfortable. And I just thought that this was so adorable. It has this seersucker pattern here. And then it has the little frilly stuff along the top. It's just really, really cute. I got a medium in the top and then a large for the bottom just to make sure I had that extra coverage. And then last but not least, I got this top at Old Navy. It's just a really cute little window pane t-shirt. And um, I think, again, it's going to be really great in the summer. It's super, super lightweight, almost to the point of being see-through. So I'm definitely going to have to wear a nude bra or something under this that's not going to show. But I thought that this would look really adorable with like denim shorts and maybe like a pair of leather sandals. I think it's really cute. Good morning, guys. I just got my order from Glossier and I had placed an order for their perfume, which is called You. And I originally tried this in my Scentbird subscription. I actually did a video on it, I wanna say last year, but I fell in love with this fragrance so much. It is expensive, it's $60 for this bottle. So I highly recommend trying a sample of it first. If you are placing an order with Glossier, you can ask for a little sample card of this at checkout. Or also if you join Scentbird, that's like $14.95 a month and you can try this out. And the spray bottles that they give you are pretty large. They actually last you a few months so you can really test out the fragrance first before you commit to it. But this is just the nicest scent I have ever tried and I love it so much. It's one of those really sort of un assuming sense it's not gonna like walk into the room before you do it's a closer scent but at the same time people can still smell it on you and it's also comprised of almost all base notes so it's not supposed to change as you wear it throughout the day when you spray it on it already feels like you've been wearing it a while like it's already kind of settled into what it's supposed to smell like so I can go ahead and let you know what the notes are really quick all right, so I'm just on my computer here. It says, um, each note was chosen and balanced to allow the juice to be both long lasting and true to how it smells at the beginning without changing as it dries down. Like I said before, in other words, it's heavy on the base notes. Mostly it smells like you, the familiar humany note that makes up the body of what you're smelling. Creamy, sparkly, clean, and warm. So the three base notes, melt in with your skin they're ambrette which is comfy and warm ambrox which is smooth salty and animalistic and musk which is long lasting and addictive but i have to say i'm not a fan of musky scents and i really don't think that this perfume smells musky at all so please don't let that sway you if you're not a fan of musks and then the mix of top notes that say nice to meet you without overpowering the base are iris root, which is earthy, green, and woody, and then pink pepper, which is spicy and sparkling. So I find that this doesn't feel overly feminine or masculine. It's kind of just one of those fragrances that could be, I think, unisex for the most part. But to me, it just smells really like comfy and warm and familiar, but also fresh at the same time. It kind of reminds me of when like I pick up one of my husband's sweaters and he was wearing cologne and then what that sweater smells like afterwards with like a little hint of his cologne mixed with the laundry detergent smell. So it's just like really, really, really nice. And these are the types of scents that I absolutely love. So I had to buy the full size of it, but I highly recommend it if you like really fresh and easy to wear kind of casual scents. I also placed a huge order with Makeup Revolution. They have so many new palettes out. They have the new Reloaded palettes, they have new bronzers, and they also have these four new fun palettes that I can't wait to show you guys. But like most Makeup Revolution orders, this one came with broken items, so I was really bummed and everything is super dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all of this off before I get into some swatches. But basically what broke are the bronzer. This is their um, mega bronzer, I believe, in the shade Cool. And I actually asked them to just refund me this because it doesn't look super cool to me like here let me show you closer to the window so you can see it actually looks really warm and kind of dark so I just decided I didn't want this one again but the other palette that broke is one of the um, new reloaded palettes so I was really bummed about this this one is 
the smoky neutrals. So it looked really pretty, but I did have them send me a replacement of this. So it's already on the way, but it's gonna come while I'm on vacation. So I'll have to just do a video on these when I get back. But for now, I'll just swatch a few things for you guys. Oh, and as I was cleaning these off, I forgot to mention that these actually ship from New Jersey. I ordered from their international website, but they ship from New Jersey and came really, really fast. So I think Makeup Revolution has a warehouse here in the States now, which is really good to know because a lot of you guys I know usually waiting for these to come to Ulta before you order them because you don't want to have to deal with international shipping. So at least this order shipped right from New Jersey and it came really quick. So I just wanted to put that out there as well in case you're thinking about placing an order on their site. All right, so now we can get a better look at everything since it's not coated in dust. So the first thing I got is the bronzer reloaded and this is in the shade Take a Vacation. I think it was the lightest shade and this looks like a baked bronzer. It just looked really pretty. So let's just do a little swatch. That feels really, really smooth and velvety. Um, it's a little bit warmer than I would normally wear for a bronzer, but it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's super orangey. It's a little bit more on the golden bronze side and it does have a little bit of shimmer in it as well, but it is really super pretty and I think it would actually make a really nice nude blush. And then next I got the new Reloaded palettes. So like I said before, the Smoky Neutral one was shattered, so I'll have to reorder that one. Um, but first up, this one is the Hypnotic Reloaded palette. And this one looks like it's gonna be a dupe for the Sultry palette. So I can't wait to do a comparison of that. And then this one is called Deep Dive and it's just some really pretty blues and greens. It might be kind of a dupe for that Tarte Icy Betch palette. And then this last one is called Red Alert. And this one looks kind of like one that they've already come out with. Hold on, let me just grab that one. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. This one is called Neutrals 2. So yeah, they're kind of close. I mean, I think the new one has more cool tones in it, which this one is mostly warm, but this new one has this gray that's really cool tone, the hot pink, this purple right here, this one. So I think it is a little bit different, but just wanted to show those side by side. All right, so I don't have time to swatch everything today. I'm kind of in the middle of vacation packing this week, but I do want to swatch this sultry dupe, and I pretty much know what the formula of these Reloaded palettes is like. I think it's really good for $7. You honestly can't beat it, but I just want to see if anything's changed with them or if they feel exactly the same. All right, so let's do a few shimmer shades first. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it feels very similar to the originals. I think these are amazing palettes for the price. I really do. All right, we'll do a few more shimmers and then we'll try some of the mattes. Uh, this one right here isn't too pigmented. This is uh, this shade right here. It was a little hard to pick up compared to the others. And then this one, most of them are like butter though. Really, I mean, look at the pigment. That is crazy for a $7 palette. All right, and then here's some of the matte shades. Wow, that coral one swatched really nicely. And then here's this gray that's really pretty as well yeah for seven bucks how could you beat it honestly this is so good and then i also got these new palettes these are called forever flawless and i love the packaging first of all they're all different so they look really cool they all have a unique theme and i'm just really impressed with the packaging of these it has like the raised logo which is really nice and they just feel nice and heavy and substantial so let's take a look inside this one's called optimum this one almost looks a little like subculture, not exactly, but it definitely has more of an earthy vibe to it. It's really pretty. And then this one is called Constellation. I love the packaging. So this one's definitely more of a bright palette. These are $15, by the way, too, for 18 shades. This one is called Unconditional Love. How pretty is that one? I just loved all the colors. Like, I literally couldn't choose between all of these. And then this one is decadent and this one was just more of a neutral palette i would say a warm neutral palette but again just so pretty so i definitely want to swatch one of these but i don't know which one to swatch um maybe let's do the first one i just feel like this one's maybe a little bit more unique than a lot of the other palettes that i have i'm so curious to see what the formula is like here all right so i definitely wanted to try that green oh my goodness how like smooth is that and these didn't have any fallout when I was picking them up either. They are amazing. Oh my gosh. Like the um, Reloaded palette that I just swatched had a little bit of that chunkiness like when I picked up each shade. But this is just, it's like the smoothest perfection ever. Oh my goodness. All right, here's a few more shimmers. Look at that. These are so pretty. I can't get over this. 
I mean, they're double the price of the reloaded palettes, but this is swatching like my high-end palettes. This is really nice. All right, so here's the last few shimmers. That shade is so beautiful as well. Oh my goodness, look at that one. And then here's the purple. Those shimmers are just absolutely incredible. Now I can't wait to see what the mattes are like. All right, so here are some of the matte shades. These also didn't have like any kick up when I was dipping my fingers into the pan. This one has a little bit. They're very soft though. All right, and then here's a couple more. Yeah, the mattes do have a little bit of fallout going on, especially these deeper shades. I feel like they're a little more crumbly, but still very pigmented when you smooth them out. They aren't as patchy, but I would say the star of this palette is for sure these shimmer shades right here. They're beautiful, but it's not to say that these mattes don't apply well to the eyes, but I definitely have to put these to the test and try them out. So if you want to see a video on any of these palettes, the Reloaded palettes, another video on these, definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm so excited to try everything out. Hey guys, it's Thursday, so I just got my Ulta order in the mail. Sorry if you hear any background noise, by the way. I'm running the tub for my son, but I just wanted to quickly show you what I got. And this is from the brand DP Hue. This product actually isn't out yet, but it was a platinum perk the other day. So I wanted to pick it up because um, you guys may not know this, but I have a an allergy to traditional hair dye. So if I use it, my scalp pretty much feels like it's on fire, but I can handle highlights. So this just looked like a fun kind of quick and easy way way to highlight my hair. So this is basically a heat activated highlighter, kind of like sun in, I guess, which I know like bleach is terrible for your hair, but I kind of want to just use this sparingly to add some highlights. And I think that the delivery system on here is a lot better than something like sun in because it's actually a gel that you paint onto your hair, like just the strands that you want. You're not spraying it all over. So basically it says this blonding brush is expertly formulated with lemon juice and hydrogen peroxide for gentle, gradual lightening. It is enhanced with conditioning agents to maintain the health of hair and purple pigments to counteract warm tones. The soft bristle of the applicator brush allows precision application to even the finest sections and strands. So it just says that it works best on pre-lightened or naturally blonde hair to gradually brighten. So you can apply it on damp or dry hair and it says to just hold the hair between your forefinger and thumb and pull it away from your face and using the brush tip paint it onto targeted areas. Repeat the process and use one click between applications and then it'll activate when it's heated by either the sun or a hair dryer. So I'll just open this up quick and show you what it looks like. All right, so here's a look at the packaging and then you just pull this cap off and underneath this is the brush right here. I'm guessing that you just click this to make the product come out. I'm not gonna do it now, I don't wanna make a mess, but I can definitely let you guys know how this works out for me. I'll definitely take some before photos and then some after so you can see exactly how well it lightens. But I'm gonna try not to use this too much just because I know how damaging products like this can be. And then the other thing I got at Ulta was a recommendation from some of you guys. This is the Sarah Hap Lip Expert Plump and Prime Lip Airbrush. It says it's formulated with ultra filling spheres and maxi lip. And a few of you guys had told me that Emily Noel had talked about this in a video. And I'm always talking about how wrinkly and liney my lips are. So I'm always looking for products that are gonna smooth them out. So this says, um, after you exfoliate, layer on a generous amount of this velvety plumping primer onto lips. Your lips are now instantly full, hydrated, primed, and airbrushed. Wear alone as a perfectly sheer nude or with color which will last longer than you've ever imagined. Wonder how you lived without it. So let's just take a look at this. I'm really curious. It makes some pretty big claims. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's really pretty. I'll just put a little bit on my hand and see maybe if it smooths out my hand a little. It feels kind of um, waxy maybe. Not waxy but kind of like a primer, I guess, like a silicone primer would. I mean, it's definitely smoothing out the pores on my hand. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it seems to be working. This area feels and looks really super smooth right now. So I'm excited to give this one a go. I can let you know my thoughts in a future video for sure. All right, guys, so that does it for this week's edition of New Makeup Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And also, let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see reviews on going forward, and I will definitely make that happen. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great week coming up, and I'll see you when I get back. Bye.